road to this land will be paved in gold. And only the strong will survive. There will be darkness, as the wicked beasts will awaken the fight from within. As new heroes will rise, as the hunt for power lies in the gold. This November, the warrior will ask, if not now, when? Hello, everyone, and welcome to AEW Dark. I'm Excalibur, joined, as always, by the human suplex machine, Taz, and the human violin machine is playing Marina Shafir to the ring as we go down to the third member of our broadcast team, Dasha Gonzalez, standing by inside the ring. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Moldova, the problem, Marina Shafir. Marina Shafir, as we've seen over the last few months, has racked up some pretty impressive wins, as well as her association, the tag team with Nyla Rose. Her opponent already in the ring. Seal Nieves. Yeah, uh, Nieves is gonna have her hands full for sure with Marina, so we'll see how this thing goes here, ex Calva, as we kick off this uh, episode of Dark, episode 164. Uh, that's what we got, 164. That's what we got here. Okay. Taz, you know, we've got the, uh, the Dynamite anniversary coming up tomorrow night in Washington, D.C. Um, I don't personally observe the Dynamite anniversary. <laughs> I, I observed the uh, the first time we were in Philadelphia, which marked the first time you and I got to work together. Yes, a moment I'll never forget. It was one of the greatest moments of my life, uh, working <laughs> dark with you in Philadelphia. No, that was a lot of fun. I'm joking. But Marina now breaking the grip here of Nieves. You don't want to try to. You don't want to exchange holds if if you can avoid it. What Marina Shafir and she's attacking that elbow elbow joint next, Calvin. And she maintains control of the wrist of Nieves. Bringing her up to her feet, sweeps the leg of Nieves out, does Marina Shafir. And now Shafir changes tack, going for the the leg. And I'm a little surprised, I'm gonna interrupt you, that her grip is, is not above the knee joint, it's on her shin, but maybe she's going for a different hold, Marina. You know, you know, if you're gonna go for a single leg crab, you wanna grab over that knee joint, but she might have been going for something different. So let's see what Marina's up to here. Watch out. Nieves, oh, wow, Nieves elevates out of the suplex attempt. The drop kick knocks Marina Shafir back. And I'm just Nieves. trying to analyze the wrestling, ex Calvin. I'm just trying, Mr. X Calvin, I'm trying to analyze. Sometimes you get in my way with this. Hold on. Cover the roll. Just trying to analyze, bro. I, I know what you're doing, Taz, and I'm trying my best to interrupt you. Isn't that what all great broadcast partners do? <laughs> the ones I've worked with, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Shafir wrenching back on the nose of Sio Nieves, who's making the call. Arm trapped. See the arm, arms trapped, ex, uh, ex cow but that arm is trapped, which made it real hard for Nieves. Yeah, she made the crawl, gets the boot on the bottom rope, forcing Shafir to break the hold. But Marina Shafir wrenching the head from side to side, trying to disorient Nieves, but Nieves. Drawbreaker. Yeah, yeah, comes back, the drawbreaker. Snatches a side headlock, though. And Shafir breaks free and picks up Nieves. The backdrop, and now Marina Shafir steps over. She's got the arm captured. Could be looking for Greedy here. As now she's got the leg, the arm, and the head all captured. Nieves forced to tap out. The winner of this match by submission, Marina Shafir. Yeah, once she locked in that greedy, it was done. Uh, Shafir was able to finish off Nieves uh, in impressive fashion. Now the ice cold glare from the problem. Marina Shafir kicking us off here tonight on Dark. Singles action coming up next here on AEW Dark. Ari Davari of the Trustbusters collides with the high-flying A.R. Fox next. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied 
by Jeeves K, Sunny Kiss, and the Trust Busters from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing 195 pounds, Ari the Bari. Well, Taz, the last time we saw Ari Davari Jeeves K was this past Friday night at Rampage, where under the direction of Davari, Jeeves K offered an envelope to the cold-hearted, handsome devil, the FTW champion, El Diablo Wapo Hook. And uh, what was in the envelope? I, my man, I knew you were gonna ask me that, and fans wanna hear, I don't know, and that's the truth. I don't know what Davari uh, proposed in that envelope from Jeeves K. I, 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 I asked Hook, he said, he smirked, he says, don't worry about it, and he walked away from me. And so it's like, I don't know what was in that envelope. I don't. His opponent already in the ring, A.R. Fox. Well, it's certainly a situation worth keeping our eyes on. I mean, you know, yeah. Davari's not been shy about recruiting for the Trust Busters. Yeah, I, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I mean, he'll be a tough guy to recruit. But, you know, I mean, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's that. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what was in the envelope. I, I'm not sure. I mean, um, I, I know, uh, Nemeth was running his mouth in Philadelphia, and it seemed like Hook had enough of it. Cold-hearted, handsome devil came out there, put the beat down on Nemeth, and next thing you know, Jeeves K's out there, the trust butler, with this envelope, and Davari. And if you noticed, Jeeves K was doing the money sign with his hand. I don't know if you noticed that on Rampage. I did, because I wasn't calling the show. You were. I don't know if you noticed that. I did, I did see that, and... Uh... Seems like uh, some sort of financial offer was made, but Taz, I know for a fact that Hook has been recruited at least once in his life. <laughs> Perhaps by a D1 school thing. <laughs> he was definitely in a different spot of lacrosse. He was recruited multiple times. Yes, you're right. And they all Fox just nailed him. Just nailed yeah, Davari. Came, came to the ropes, the lariat skins the cat and hits the drop kick. I should have been specific. Recruited in pro wrestling. That's what I should have said. <laughs> oh, no. Damari, though, gets the boot up into the jaw of AR Fox. And oh, oh Fox comes back with the nice. Enzigiri. Yeah, AR Fox, a veteran, knows what he's doing. You know, really accomplished pro for sure. Excalibur, look at that, man. That was awesome. Yeah, Fox launches off the ring post, the backflip, and lands on his feet, taking out Davari on the outside in front of the other trust busters. Yeah, Aero Fox making it look easy, and Davari, the, the leader. Oh, look at Slim J now, getting in the and, face and of Aero Fox. Davari De oh. has the attention of Stefan Smith diverted, and <laughs> Parker Boudreaux just rocked A.R. Fox. Yeah, this gigantic man, Parker Boudreaux, just laid out A.R. Fox. That could potentially be the opening that Davari needs here to get some uh, something going on A.R. Fox. Now Ari Davari back in the driver's seat, courtesy of the assistance of uh, Parker Boudreaux and Slim J. See, what I like about Davari, you know, I, 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 as, as far as in-ring, his in-ring abilities, like, he is, um, I, I love his timing of things. He doesn't, you know, he's systematic. Everything he does, he does it with intention. You know, it, it, as you know, dude, like, as a successful, being a successful pro wrestler, your timing of when you nail guys with offense is vital, right? You know that. And I think that a guy like Davari has mastered that. Well, Taz, it's very complimentary because I don't think I was a very successful pro wrestler, but... Well, uh, I okay, know. well, we could take that out in post, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, you are, I'm sure. Big cross body. Two, no! Hey, our Lord Fox knows able that. to kick out. That Tiger Driver 98 is well documented throughout, throughout the whole West Coast that you basically just destroyed people's careers with it. So you did that. <laughs> I, I shortened them physically by compressing their spine and I shortened their careers. Yeah, you sure have. I never worked with you and I had both problems. <laughs> and I'm working with you now and you're stiff as hell as it is, but here we go. <laughs> Rich Inlock by Damari on Fox. <laughs> yeah, Ari Damari doing a great job of, uh, of grounding A.R. Fox, who is definitely known for his high-flying offense, but Davari is uh, is keeping things pretty pretty well mat-based ever since he got that assist from the Trust Busters and regained control. Yeah, but maybe a counter here by Fox. Oh, maybe not. Guys both trying to go for vertical suplexes here. Dude, that's exhausting. Well, look at that by oh. Fox. Nice job, A.R. Fox. Yeah, A.R. Fox, that corkscrew brain buster. 
Ari Tavari got rocked. Yeah, good job by Aaron Fox. Can he keep this momentum going? Hey, dude, as you know, he's, he's Fox has trained several successful wrestlers, as we know, in our industry. And some he's trained, I believe, or worked out with at least when they were younger in AEW. Yeah, abs absolutely. And, and Fox keeping the push. Whoa, look at that. Fox up to his feet again. Enzi Geary rocks Ari Davari. And Davari yeah. back in the corner. AR Fox has the, the head of. Oh, Davari launches off the bottom rope into a stunner. Davari's in trouble. And Fox comes in, diving back elbow. Davari up to his feet again, gets brought back down, this time by a cutter. Fox, upset here. No! Hey, listen, I know how accomplished AR Fox is, that he's a veteran, but that would have been an upset if he would have pinned Davari there. Yeah, especially with all the trust busters at ringside looking on. And fans, just a reminder, tomorrow night, 8, 7 Central, live on TBS. It's the anniversary edition of AEW Dynamite. Tony Storm, Athena, and Willow Nightingale team up to take on Jamie Hayter, Serena Deeb, and Penelope Ford. It's National Scissoring Day in Washington, D.C. MJF goes one-on-one -on -one with Wheeler Yuta. Well, wait a second, Tavari, the cover, no. Fox able to kick out and made official this past Friday night at Rampage. It will be Hangman Adam Page going one-on-one -on -one with El Toro Blanco, Roosh. Should be an awesome episode. Live, man, if you're near the D.C. area, come to the arena, check the show out. Then we got a live Rampage, Battle of the Belts Jones on Friday in D.C. It's gonna be a big week for us in the nation's capital, buddy. Yeah, anniversary week here in AEW. Fox is looking for another cutter there. Davari pushed him off, but Fox got the back elbow. Oh wait, Davari! Davari swept out the legs. Fox lands on his feet and hits another cutter. And oh, hey, I heard you oh, yelling out of headset. Oh. I heard you. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was insane. Another color. You yelled it out. You hit. You pulled your mic out of the way. You yelled out another color. I heard you, dude. That was amazing. <laughs> you just said that off mic. was sick. You just nailed Slim J. <laughs> oh, oh. Davari from behind. Man, he was near his pancreas region at that point. That was deep. What a yam peg, yam bag, full Monty Jones. Yam bag bonanza. And now, yeah. oh, it's a flurry. <laughs> oh, that might be it, buddy. Oh. Turns AR Fox inside out and scores the win. Winner of this match, Trust Fund, Ari Davari. I mean, yeah, look at this. See Slim J, that handsome guy. Look at him. He's not a handsome devil, but he's a handsome guy, kind of. Uh, right there. Uh, <laughs> Very proud of his man, Davari. That was a battle for Davari, man. A.R. Fox put up a hell of a fight, but good luck dealing with this man. Oh, Ari Davari, victorious here tonight on Dark, and what does the future hold for the Trust Busters? AEW Heels is a female forward fan club of like-minded individuals who just simply love pro wrestling. We have virtual meets, so we're able to get on a Zoom call and we have chats. At pay-per-views, we end up having in-person meetups where everyone gets to see each other face-to-face. -face. We catch up, we mingle. It's a great way of just becoming friends and having a little bit of a little party. I personally have about five or six Heel members that have grown to be close friends of mine. I love these women. Heels is really just great at creating a space where you can be authentically you with people who care and share your love of wrestling. The first pay-per-view last year I came to like on my own and then this is kind of where I met everybody and now we've come to pay-per-views together because we've formed such a special friendship. All these ladies have totally brought me out of my shell and I talk to people and I go up to people I never would have said hi to before. You have a home here. This is a very safe place for anyone. I'm a breast cancer survivor. And while I was going through my treatment, I had the support of the talent. The Heels community kept cheering me on, building me up. Without the Heels community, I don't know if I would have made it and banged that gong back in May. Hanging out with all these amazing women who are fans and from the industry? What's not to love? I think Heels is one of those things where once you're in it, you understand how absolutely important it is. And I've just seen so many people gain happiness from being a member of Heels. With the Heels community, tons of women are finding themselves to be in a place where they have comfort, they have support, they have freedom, and they can just be themselves and enjoy wrestling.
AEW Heels means community. Support, blessings. Inspiration, fun, laughter, and wrestling. AEW Heels empowers women for the love of wrestling. All right, next caliber, they've been waiting for this. She loved tag matches, and here we go. Big tag team matchup, Raju and Cash collide with Nice and Woods. Right here on Dog. 164. 164. 164, Excalibur. Yep. Here we go. We've done a lot of darks together, yep. Taz. That's right, buddy. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Smart Mark Sterling. At a combined weight of 449 pounds, the technical beast. Josh Woods and the premier athlete, Tony Nees. Well, this is a very well put together tag team in Nice and Woods. They uh, they complement each other so well stylistically. And uh, smart Mark Sterling. Well, look at that, trying to recruit Aubrey Edwards. She could do worse. Well, he's a smart man. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. I mean, he's, you know, Their opponents Sterling's are about in money. The, ring, the team of Rohit Raju and Invictus Cash. And Rohit Raju and Invictus. Ooh, <laughs> Cash. Huh. Not getting off on the right, right foot here tonight. Yeah, when you got to deal with these two guys, Nice and Woods, you got better make sure you're on the same page because Tony Nice, a well accomplished veteran, pro. Uh, wrestler's wrestler, he can get after it. He's the premier athlete for a reason, because he is. He's a tremendous athlete. And fans want to remind everybody that AEW returns to the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey for two consecutive nights of AEW action. Friday, November 18th for AEW Rampage, and then Saturday, November 19th for Full Gear Live on Pay-Per-View. You can be there for our history. Two event combo packages available right now, and we'll be making our return to downtown Chicago Thanksgiving Eve on Wednesday, November 23rd, the fallout from Full Gear Live at the Wintrust Arena. And we'll be making our debut in the Pacific Northwest at the Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle, Washington, right downtown in Seattle by the Space Needle on Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. Tickets for all events available right now, AEWTIX.com. Well, nice uh, umring a go behind by Tony Nice, and you see Cash trying to break that grip. That's how you get out of that. By the way, all those shows we'll be hitting for Dynamite Rampage, we're gonna just use your jet, right? We're gonna get on your plane? Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna gas up the solar-powered jet and uh, we'll be, we'll be right. off to Seattle. Uh, you, got, you just gotta make it to San Diego first and then we'll be off to Seattle. Yeah, I'll take my jet. I'll take my jet to Seattle. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go to your place. Whatever, here we go, watch out. Nee, uh, nice flips off the top rope, lands on his feet. And Tony Nese, truly the premier athlete, making it look easy. Those are jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, Excalibur, please. Do the play-by-play. -play. Nice back sweep. Jumping jacks, damn it. <laughs> Nese was, in fact, doing jumping jacks, Taz. I, 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 you Thank know. you, sir. Thank you. So make sure you know. I was laying down on the job. Woods now. I don't know. Josh Woods, back body drop, almost a side body drop. And it's kind of like almost a almost a fireman carry, but different. It wasn't with a high crotch is how you begin the oh. fireman's carry, but that was definitely a knee to the face. Yeah. yeah, knees, the knee across, or excuse me, Woods, the the knee across the side of the head, and now Rohit Raju, high roundhouse kick, the sweep takes out the leg of Tony Knees, and Raju got stopped in his tracks. Knees sends him to the outside, and Tony Knees. Oh. Elevates and takes out Rohit Raju inside the ring. Josh Woods, the elbow, and uh oh, uh oh. Now the combination from Nice and Woods. The cover, two, three. Winners of this match, the team of Tony Nice and Josh Woods. Great job by these two guys, by Nice and Woods. I'm sure Mark Sterling. Uh, uh, of course, Mark knows where the hard camera is. He's going to get in the shot with his door. He's got some fancy suspenders yeah, on. Those the brown anyway, yeah, those brown suspenders. Yeah, what the hell is wrong with him, dude? <laughs> Coming up next on AEW Dark. It is October. It is spooky season. And Abaddon in action next. The following contest is 
set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from the Black Hills, Abaddon. As you heard the great reaction for Abaddon wow. here at AEW Universal. Abaddon, one of uh, the most popular athletes here, but also one of the most terrifying. It's, it's a perplexing, perplexing thing, a turn of events. It's very perplexing. Her opponent already in the ring, Freya stays. Not only perplexing, confusing, but then again, someone like an Abaddon, unpredictable, right? You don't understand what's gonna happen, what she's gonna do, what she's gonna look like, how much blood's gonna be flowing out of her face or whatever, because you never know. We've seen everything with this young lady. Uh, and our audience realizes she is a star, obviously, but she's an unpredictable, dangerous individual. No, but Freya State's using her power here, sending Abaddon, uh, I believe that, uh, the technical term is ass over tea kettle. But yes, that is. I think now, a lot of people don't realize Excalibur uh, is, watch out here, wait, maybe we're going for a side Nice counter, look at Abaddon, great job, excellent. Freya on State's- I was gonna say something. Sent to the outside, Abaddon. Coming in with a drop kick. And Abaddon's gonna fly here, I think, Excalibur. Watch out. Abaddon <laughs> diving kick on Rana. Wow, this is a lot of varied offense we're seeing out of Abaddon here. Yeah, excellent. Looks great what she's doing. I was about to say, I don't think a lot of people realize when you take that mask off, you and Abaddon have the same hair. Oh, oh that was nasty on the ribs oh. of Abaddon. Oh, man, right on the ribs, you're right. And fans, through this Friday, you could go to UpperDeckEPAC.com for the match-dated moments from AEW Dynamite and Rampage Grand Slam. Those cards available through this Friday at UpperDeckEPAC.com, and you can pre-order the Wardlow Micro Brawler right now on ShopAEW.com. Don't miss your opportunity. Oh, Freya states the axe kick to the back of the head of Abaddon. Huh. Abaddon might be knocked out here. Yeah, this could, whoa, or maybe not. Oh, you, she heard you. You yelled, sit up off mic again. What are you doing? <laughs> Abaddon, Jeez. oh, the, the kick to the side of the head. States got rocked. And now Abaddon setting Freya states up the Black Dahlia. Center of the ring, Abaddon covers and scores the win. Impressive. Winner of this match, Abaddon. Very impressive outing by Abaddon. I like it a lot. Abaddon once again mixing up the offense, keeping their opponents guessing, and coming away with a great victory here tonight on AEW Dark. How do you stuff that hair in that mask, Excalibur? The same hair you have. <laughs> AEW is my house. Tomorrow on TBS. Celebrate the three-year anniversary with an extended dynamite. Oh featuring God. Darby Allin versus Jay Lethal. Daddy had to put you on timeout, didn't he? MJF returns to the ring to face Wheeler Yuta. You want to know what I think would be real entertaining? And Daniel Garcia joins Brian Danielson to take on teammates Sammy Gubara and Chris Jericho. I'm going to have to take you out. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live tomorrow at 8 on TBS. Here with Robin and Charlotte Renegade coming up tonight on Dark, Robin will face off against Sky Blue one-on-one. -on -one. Now, in the past, we've seen your twin sister get involved. So who's to say we won't see this happening again tonight? <sighs> Lexi, I don't know how many times we need to tell you and Tony we don't cheat. We play fair, by the books, by the rules. I don't understand what's so hard to understand about that. So you rolling out and your sister rolling in is playing by the rules? Lexi, I'm sorry, but she is me and I am she, and together we make the Renegade Twins. The switch that you keep talking about, not sure what you're- Don't know what you're talking about. That. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not really sure that explains anything, though. What needs to be explained, Lexi? We are the Renegade Twins. I am she, and she is me, and we are the same person. What is so hard to figure that out? Okay, well, we'll see what happens coming up tonight on Dark. Back to the ring. All right, Excalibur, here we go, buddy. You wanted it, you're gonna get it. You wanted one-on-one -on -one action? You wanted one-on-one -on -one action, Excalibur, for the male roster? Well, you're gonna get it. The Trust Buster, Slim J. He's gonna go at it right now. The 
the following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Jackson, Tennessee, weighing 180 pounds, all heart, Blake Christian. Well, Tez, you know what I really wanted, as you were saying in your, your graphic read? Um, I really wanted to hear the Trustbusters music, so hearing Blake Christian's music right now. It's a, it's a letdown. It's a letdown. Yeah, a little bit, little bit of a letdown. Yeah, generic uh, rock music Jones. I hear you. Oh, here we go. This is what we wanted. Kinda. Slight put over, slight Mario. Hey, Jeeves K's back in the house. And his opponent, accompanied by Jeeves K, Sunny Kiss, and the Churros Busters from the Dirty South, Slim J. Oh man. Slim J, look at Jim Slim. Slim J, looks like he's straight out of 1997. And, and this song, oh man, just rocking out here, Taz, at the desk. I wish people could see us. <laughs> you just keep bobbing your head. You took the mask off. Your hair is flowing here at the announce desk. Crazy. All right, Slim J. Oh. There he is. Every time I hear this song, Taz, I'm reminded of my 103rd favorite HBO comedy. Which one is that, Excal? I don't know what the hell you're talking well, about. What people is that? Know. I mean, people know. Oh, they know? All right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm not cool like you and the people. I'm a jabroni. My bad. Only 102 other HBO comedies better than that one, Taz. Only 102. Bro, I watch sports and the AEW Pro Wrestling. That's what I watch in my old matches. Nothing else. <laughs> Constantly revisiting the past. Constant. I'm obsessed with it. Christian takes the uh, the wrist up Slim J, bring, brings him around Slim J now. I heard somebody here in our live audience just said, hey, Davari, you suck. Wrestling fans, listen to me. This sport has been around a long time. You got to get a little bit more creative <laughs> with the insults. I mean, really, just saying the guy sucks is definitely not enough. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, please. I I've been told as a wrestler I've sucked many times. Just be more creative. Oh, Blake Christian, a little bit of a misdirect there. Caught Ari Davari, or excuse me, caught Slim J sleeping. I was thinking about Davari and his, and his massive fortune. One, just a one count. And, uh, you know, a more creative insult would be telling Davari, it's like, hey, you're not that rich. You're only a, 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 a hundred millionaire. You're right. not a billionaire. Right, see, now you'd be a great heckling fan. That's perfect, Mr. X Cowboy. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Here, on bar. On bar right now by the Blake. So Slim J's got to try. Oh, maybe a reversal will work. There you go. He got it. Reverse, but Blake Christian comes in the shoulder tackle, takes Slim J off his feet. Christian vaults over. Leapfrog goes for the trip. Slim J avoids it, but doesn't avoid the drop kick. Blake Christian takes down Slim J, takes him down again with the arm drag. Yeah, you know, we see Slim J's trying. He's getting a little frustrated with these arm bars, these arm drags. He's got to figure this out. Get some. Uh, Get some wrist control or swivel your hips over to get to it. There you go. Get yourself to a vertical base. Oh, nice job by Slim J to get out. And Taz, we mentioned it's yeah, there dynamite. There you go again. You heard him. I'm sorry, you heard the guy. He said, <laughs> said it again. Sorry. <laughs> the, uh, dynamite tomorrow. DC, tell me about it. Hold on. Well, wait a second. Cover. cover here by Blake Christian. Two. No. Slim J able to kick out. It is dynamite anniversary week here in AEW. And we will have the anniversary edition of AEW Dynamite live tomorrow night at the DC Entertainment and Sports Arena in our nation's capital. And then we'll be live back in the same building this Friday night for a live AEW Rampage and Battle of the Belts 4 live this Friday night. Tickets available for both events, AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. And two event combo packages also available right now. Well, Davari just saved Slim J, but I think Blake, oh, Sonny Kiss tripping up. I believe that was Sonny, it was quick, yeah, it was. Yeah, Sonny sweeping out the leg, and now Slim J elevates over the top rope, crashes down on Blake Christian. Trustbusters working as a cohesive unit in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And Slim J knows he has the vast fortunes of Ari Davari at his disposal, once again tearing the tank top. Yeah, money's no object. He can just rip up tank tops left and right and just go back to the dollar store and buy another 10-pack. <laughs> oh! 
The referee didn't see that. Pure ref, a Ring of Honor, uh, oh wait a minute, Ring of Honor, pure refs special, specialist. Help me. You, you got there, Vince. wrong. Yeah, I got there. Uh, Mike Posey, that was, that's not Mike Posey, that's Parker Boudot, but Mike Posey did not see that low blow. And now Slim J with the advantage. The cover again, Blake Christian kicking out, but you can see Christian, he's, he's heaving for breath. Yeah, definitely. Sonny Kiss was able to do what he did to Blake, and then obviously Slim J taking advantage of Christian. Yeah, the Trust Busters doing a good job of, uh, of uh, diverting the referee's attention. And look at Sonny once again getting involved. Yeah, and you know, yeah. that's the problem. You got, you know, a lot of these trust busters are on the outside and they're, they're getting involved. And it's no matter who you are competing against one of these trust busters one on one, it's not one on one. It's you're outnumbered and they, they know how to attack while the referee's not looking. And I mean, that's, you know, also a problem for. Uh, for not just Mike Posey, but any of the officials here in AEW. You've got just so many individuals, so many X Factors outside of the ring. And oh, but Blake Christian lands a nice Enzi Geary, blocks the wild swing, hits a right hand of his own. Christian, now look at this, he's battering Slim J. And Blake Christian, the backbreaker sends Slim J into the rope. Kicks out the leg, Slim J draped on the middle rope, and Blake Christian coming across the frog splash. Christian comes out, turns Slim J inside out. Yeah, well, right now, Slim J is definitely, he's in a bad way. Be careful, watch your back there, Blake. You got these trust buses all around out there. All right, there you go. And Davari, oh. Blake Christian took a swing at Davari, but Slim J sent to the outside. Now, Blake Christian over the top, crashing down on Slim J. And Ari Davari looks like he wants to take a swing at Blake Christian, but referee Mike Posey, he, he had his eyes on, on Christian and, well, and well, now there's Sonny again. Look at this. And Sonny got kicked off the off the apron and oh, but it was enough of a distraction to allow Slim J to avoid the shot. Now it's the flatliner after the Cazadora. And Slim J, look at this. He's got the leg captured. It's a neck crank. And Blake Christian forced to tap out. Winner of this match. Slim J. Not quite sure why Slim J has a submission hold, but he got the victory with it. Didn't expect that, but he's able to get the win. Kind of weird, though. It's my yeah. opinion. Slim J with the assistance of all the trust busters here tonight. Yeah, he got Sport. it out of nowhere. Sorry, he got it out of nowhere, but he got the win for the trust busters. I'll take the sex caliber. I got it, buddy. Relax. Tag team action coming up next here on AEW Dark. Eli Isom and Chris Farrow take on the wingmen's Ryan Nemeth and Cesar Bononi. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 474 pounds, the Hollywood hunk Ryan Nemeth and Cesar Bononi, the wingman. I gotta tell you, Excalibur, you know, on Rampage this past Friday, I kind of felt bad for Nemeth. I did. I mean, he was annoying on the mic. We came up at a break. Dude, tell the people, he was talking throughout that whole break on that microphone with Phil Yeah, he certainly was, and he was not saying uh, very nice things to the crowd. Nice things. No, no. And their opponents already in the ring, the team of Eli Isom and Chris Farrow. But I did feel bad for him how it ended for him. Yeah, uh, the cold-hearted, handsome devil hook uh, came out, and I think it had enough, uh, he had heard enough out of Ryan Nemeth, and really, um, you know, I mean, he was, uh, he was, I, I think, 
Hook was was functioning as the uh, the judge in wrestlers court. He was he, <laughs> he, he was sick of Nemeth going through everybody's yes. bags, I and think uh, right. and and he uh, he laid down uh, the the penalty for it. And now Nemeth making the tag out to Cesar Pannoni. Uh, I never thought of that. But when real quick, just in closing on Nemeth, I think he thought when Hook came, he was like happy. He's like, hey, look who it is. Hook. I think he thought Hook was going to be friends with him. He tweeted something like that. Oh my God! Whoa. What a beal! Oh, oh, Fanoni, oh. what a beal, dude! Oh my God! But Eli Isom did make the blind tag, and now Senator Fanoni just that overhand chop, and Eli Isom he didn't have a good week either. No, uh, last Wednesday night yeah. at Dynamite, Ricky Starks executed what could only be oh, oh, Nemeth instead opting not for the cover. I was yeah, gonna say, unlike Ricky, Ricky Starks, who basically broke the guy's sternum. One, yeah, I was gonna say executed the most painful looking cover That's I've ever one. seen in pro wrestling. I think it you're was, right. I, I know it was, dude. Oh my god. It was it was uh, the bonsai drop to end all bonsai drops. I talked to Ricky after the show about that. I'm like, he goes, it was right there. I had a cover like that. We were, I'm like, God, it was unbelievable. It was amazing, an amazing cover. If you didn't watch it, folks, go back and watch Dynamite. It was crazy. Just the cover. But, most people don't talk about a cover. Eli Isom, though, nice combination there. Yeah, Drops nice. the Hollywood hunk. And now Chris Farrow off the middle rope. Farrow, oh, go! Oh, watch out. <laughs> Look, he's got the, the crucifix. But, oh, Cesar Benoni takes out Eli Isom. And now Cesar adjusts his grip. And, well, oh, Farrow lands on his feet. Oh, Cesar, though. Oh, Nemeth, Nemeth's going to nail him with something here, dude. Oh, here it is. Nemeth maybe thinking hunk of love there. Drops Farrow. Covers. And scores the win. Winners of this match, the Wingmen. They got the pinky going. Nemeth captures the, the victory for his team. Says up only the massive human out of Brazil. There he is. And the Wingmen. Once again, victorious here tonight on AEW Dark. The road to this land will be paved in gold. And only the strong will survive. There will be darkness, as the wicked beasts will awaken the fight from within. As new heroes will rise, as the hunt for power lies in the gold. This November, the warrior will ask, if not now, when? A few weeks back on Dark, we saw the debut of the Iron Savages with JT Davidson. And since then, you guys have been making quite a statement here in AEW. First off, Lexi, let me tell you, it is the Iron Manager, JT Davidson. And behind me, you've got this man, Boulder. You've got this man, Bronson. And they are my Iron Savages. And let's get something straight. Every single tag team in this company, you are officially on notice. Because these men are going to rain hell down on everybody in the AEW Tag Team Division. And Lexi, you can take that to the bank. Well, we'll see them coming up later tonight. Back to the ring. All right, there we go, man. Another member of the Trust Buses will have a matchup right now on this episode of Dog. The big man himself, Paul Cabudo, is going to have at it here on Dog. That song, get brother. <laughs> Sorry. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Jeeves K right there. Introducing first, accompanied by Jeeves K, Sunny Kiss, and the Trust Busters from Winter Garden, Florida, weighing 313 pounds. Parker, oh. who drove? Chiefs K had the big <laughs> ice water there. What, my what God. did Parker do that? I don't know, but Chiefs K just walked away like, okay, so <laughs> Chiefs K was wiping his head. God, I wish we had a slow-mo with that. Oh, boy. Uh, I guess not. All right. <laughs> Even the truck was God, shot. That was great. I know. Oh, that might have been the highlight of 
my career. His opponent watching already that. in the ring, Terry Kidd. My whole career, maybe not. Might be a slight overstatement. But Terry Kidd, you're in trouble here. You got the big man, right here, this young athlete, Parker Boudot. Oh, look at Terry. Also want to remind fans that coming up tomorrow night, live, 8, 7 Central on TBS, anniversary edition of Dynamite, Luchasaurus will be in action. Darby Allen goes one-on-one -on -one with Jay Lethal. And what about this tag team match? Brian Danielson and Daniel Garcia teaming up to take on Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara. That's tomorrow night right now inside the ring. Terry Kidd just got spiked by Parker Boudreaux. Might get the win right here in that splash. Boudreaux, the cover and the win. Winner of this match, Parker Boudreaux. There you have it. Well, Parker Boudreaux, a quick victory and a very ambitious schedule set by our production team. They wanted me to talk about Cincinnati, Norfolk, and Uncasville, Connecticut. I'll have to do that in the next match. Parker Boudreaux make a short work of Terry Kidd here tonight. Up next here on AEW Dark, Robin Renegade with her sister Charlotte in her corner goes one on one with Sky Blue. Taz, not enough songs begin with a modem screech. Is that what that is? A modem screech? Like, is that, that's not what, how I run my internet with a modem? The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by her sister, Charlotte Renegade from Dayton, Ohio. She is one half of the Renegade twins, Robin Renegade. Be sure that the Renegade girls, the twins, their music don't start with a router scratch. Was a modem scratch. No, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a dial-up modem screech, which most of our fans are probably not old enough to even know what that sounds like. I'm old enough, and I don't even and know what that sounds like. And her opponent from Chicago, Illinois, Sky Blue. Well, Excalibur, enough of the IT talk. Let's get into this match. Yeah, Sky Blue set to go one-on-one -on -one with Robin Renegade here tonight. Want to remind fans... Oh, wait a oh, second! Oh. Robin not wasting any time. Say Never one of my turn fans. your back on your opponent, my friend. Don't to where your fans. Where are you talking about Cincinnati? Where are we going now? Yeah, where are Cincinnati, we? Tuesday Night Dynamite. <laughs> Hangman Adam Page will be challenging for the AEW World Championship, and that is at uh, the Heritage Bank Center in Cincinnati. We'll be making our debut in that venue, and then we'll be returning to Norfolk, Virginia in the Chartway Arena on Wednesday, October 26th. As Sky Blue, the crossbody, and then later that week, we will be at the Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut on Friday, October 28th for a special live rampage. Tickets for all three live events available right now, AEWTIX.com. It's Charlotte Renegade pulling at the boot of Sky Blue, but Sky Blue gets launched off the apron to the floor. Yeah, that was uh, definitely a tough, tough landing for Sky Blue right there. And Taz, we will also be making our return to Indianapolis, Indiana, and the Indiana Farmers Coliseum on Wednesday, November 30th. And AEW Dynamite returns to Indianapolis, and that'll be the Rampage debut in that city. Tickets available for that event this Friday, October 7th, 10 a.m. Eastern at AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. Wow, Robin Renegade talking a lot of trash. The Sky Blue shot the daylights out of her. Sky in the corner oh another chop there by robin renegade and now robin yeah wasted a little too much time sky blue turns things around fires in some chops of her own on robin renegade yeah i don't think that she's done oh man whoa Ooh, overzealous there wow backstabber yeah great backstabber executed by robin renegade Sky Blue gets covered. Two, no. Backstabber named after basically the bulk of the wrestlers I've shared locker, some locker rooms with in my career. Backstabbers. <laughs> Making friends again with the old timers. Whoa! <laughs> Swing and a miss. Sky Blue. Oh, takes Robin Renegade down. And now Sky Blue, perhaps with the upper hand. 
Oh, kick to the knee. Look at this. Oh, nice block by Renegade. Oh, but didn't block that. Sky Blue's going to get the win here, I think. Sky Blue came around with the Enzy Geary. No. Super close right there, and Sky Blue's, you could see her right there thinking, what am I going to do next? She had something in mind, but Renegade shut her down. Yeah, the, the cross chop on the windpipe of Sky Blue, but, ooh, Sky Blue, a little unsteady on lost her feet, stumbled. Yeah, lost, lost, lost the balance, sorry, lost the balance. Want to point that out, she lost the balance of Sky Blue. Lost the balance. <laughs> oh, Robin Renegade comes back with a big elbow strike with Sky Blue against the ropes. Sky Blue, a knee strike underneath the jaw. The Lariat caught, and uh, Sky Blue, almost like a flatliner there. Two, three. The winner of this match, Sky Blue. Well, that thing could have went either way, Excalibur, but Sky Blue captured the victory. Yes, yeah, Sky Blue. After she regained her balance, Taz regained the advantage and scored the win tonight here on AEW Dark. Great victory for Sky Blue. Well, Excalibur, another one for you, buddy. We know you love it. Tag Team Ash, featuring the team formerly known as Bear Country, the Iron Savages. I love that name. Here they come. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is J.T. Davidson, and it is my pleasure to introduce to you the team of Bronson and Boulder. They are the Iron Savages. Does JT realized that Come microphone on. works. Yeah, you know, the, the, the whole point of the microphone is that it amplifies your voice. Jeez. You don't have to scream into it. God, but anyway, I, I don't know what's more violent, the Iron Savages or JT's intro. Well, the Iron Savages, the team formerly known as Bear Country, set to compete here tonight, AEW Dark. Let's throw it back down to JT. Oh, no, it's Dasha. Thank God. Their opponents are in the ring, the team of Vali Morales and Levi Valenzuela. Well, we've seen, you know, we've seen the Iron Savages, you know, for quite some time in AEW. You know, as I said, formerly under their older name, uh, which was Bear Country, obviously. But these two men, I don't care, man. It's just Bronson and, and Boulder, they are nasty. And you see right there, Bronson is going to have at it here. One half of the Iron Savages. Coming up this Friday night, special live edition AEW Rampage, 10-9 Central on TNT. It is Mask versus AEW Career. Number 10 of the Dark Order will take on Andrade El Idolo. And then immediately following Rampage, live at 11 p.m. Eastern, it will be Battle of the Belts for the Bastard Pack will look to defend his AEW All-Atlantic Championship against Trent Barretta and Bronson just squished Mari Morales. Yeah, got good control right there, and Morales is definitely in a bad way right about now. Bronson bringing Morales up to his feet and into the corner. Hard Savages just big, gigantic man. Yeah, exerting their will, and now Vari Morales, oh. wow! And now we're seeing the AEW in-ring debut of Levy Valenzuela, and he is standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Boulder. Oh, but JT Davidson distracted Valenzuela, and, and it allowed Boulder to regain the advantage. Yeah, now both Iron Savages in the ring at the same time. There goes a the tag right there to Morales. He tagged himself in, unbeknownst to Iron Savages. Well, Zuela got, uh, got pancaked. Oh, ho, ho, Morales just got spiked by Bronson. And, wow, you hear Bronson. He is fired up and now Sends Morales into the waiting grasp of Boulder. And 
Boulder sends Morales crashing down onto his own partner. Yeah, he went flying, went Morales. Iron Savage is now, wait, look, on the outside, I think JT, I'm trying to look over this announcer. Yeah, JT, Davidson just threw Morales in the ring. And Vari Morales, I mean, I think they could have covered him right, oh, jeez. Oh, no. They could have covered him right there and ended it, Taz, but Iron Savage is. You're right, it's not enough. Here we go! No, they're not done yet. Oh! It's a battering ram. Morales got Crushed in the corner, and the Iron Savages get the win. Winners of this match, Iron Savages. Yeah, that was impressive by the Iron Savages for sure. Very impressive. Yeah, it seems like JT Davidson has has unlocked an extra gear in Bronson and Boulder, and their aggression is turned up to 11. Main event time here on AEW Dark. This has been percolating for a couple weeks, but Dante Martin and Matt Seidel will finally collide with the workhorsemen in tag team action. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, the team of Anthony Henry and J.D. Drake, the Work Horsemen. Anthony Henry and J.D. Drake, they have uh, really had their sights set on Matt Seidel and Dante Martin over the past few weeks. And, uh, you know, it's, I mean, this is, this has been heating up quite a bit, Taz, and I'm glad we get to finally see these two teams collide in tag team action. Yes, for sure, I agree. Should be really good. And their opponents at a combined weight of 391 pounds, the team of Matt Seidel and Dante Martin. Dante Martin and Matt Seidel, they uh, are giving up some size going into this match, but they more than make up for it with their agility and the high-flying offense. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true, for sure. And they're gonna have to rely on that. Well, look at that attack right there. Yeah, turn their backs on the workhorsemen and Anthony Henry and J.D. Drake making Seidel and Dante pay. As, oh, J.D. Drake, just a left jab to the jaw. And now, the, the bell has rung, but the action is just spilling on the outside all over EW Universal here. Yeah, and you, and you oh, there goes, uh oh, watch out. Oh, he went for that patent, he closed on on the ropes, but Dante was one step ahead. And Matt Seidel organizing the workhorseman and Dante Martin with the tornado splitting right through him. Yeah, no, that was uh, definitely, and now here's Seidel really coming in and bringing those kicks, but got to keep that pressure on a guy. Oh, man, what a shot there by him. Matt Seidel takes Anthony Henry off his feet, and now Seidel set up. Mariposa crashing down on Henry, but Henry kicking out at one. Yeah, Seidel back to that front end lock. Anthony Henry, though, smart right there, dude. Drove his opponent towards his teammate in the corner. That's a veteran move by Anthony Henry. Seidel knows it, that's why he's fighting his butt off to get out of that corner. And now Seidel clubbing shots on Anthony Henry, but Henry sends him off into the ropes. J.D. Drake with the assist, tripping out the leg, and now Henry, oh, that vicious neck crank. Yeah, that was well done right there. Anthony Henry showing a mean streak. And coming up tomorrow night, the anniversary edition of AEW Dynamite, live at 8, 7 central on TBS. It will be National Scissoring Day in Washington, D.C. Well, I guess it's National Scissoring Day across the nation. It's just, but it like will... the, it's just the inaugural uh, National Scissor Day, because I've been around 54 years in life. I don't remember, I mean, I'm not on top of holidays as much as you are. This has been around, though, right? It's been celebrated in some of the more progressive countries, but this is the first time it's happening in the United States, Taz. All right, I digress, All no right. problem. 
Uh, the AEW interim women's world champion Tony Storm will team up with Athena and Willow Nightingale to take on Jamie Hayter, Serena Deeb, and Penelope Ford. Roosh will battle Hangman Adam Page. Oh, Matt Seidel, the roll up there. Roosh and Hangman Page, that one is going to be physical. MJF will take on Wheeler Yuta. Luchasaurus will be in action. Darby Allen goes one on one with Jay Lethal and Brian Danielson and Daniel Garcia teaming up. Who would have ever thought we'd see this against Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara? All of that and somehow more tomorrow night on the anniversary edition of Dynamite. And look at these chops. Matt Seidel's chest is going to be like mincemeat. The work horseman just, just really going after it, getting after it on him. And Anthony Henry now in control of the neck of Matt Seidel. Seidel, you see, trying to turn his hips, get back up to his feet, but Henry doing a good job of positioning Henry's body in between Seidel and Dante. Good high round kick to the chest by Anthony Henry. Really hit its mark there. Now it looks to get the big man back in this thing. Yeah, the, the workhorsemen have done a great job of isolating Matt Seidel and keeping the pressure on him. On. Now, J.D. Drake bringing Seidel up. Oh, Seidel reverses the work and Rana. And now, Matt Seidel. Oh, the work and Rana on J.D. Drake as well. And he's in the wrong corner, and Dante's trying to get at J.D. Drake. And oh, look at Anthony Henry. Sweeps out the legs of Dante just as Matt Seidel is about to make the tag. Oh, the pile driver on the floor. Man, that definitely might have knocked out Dante there. That was a hard landing on this outside here. And Matt Seidel once again isolated by the workhorseman as Anthony Henry, the running shot, takes Seidel off his feet. J.D. Drake, the cover. No, Matt Seidel able to kick out. Yeah, it's tough to get a pin on Seidel. He's tough. He's been around the block. Matt Seidel knows what he's doing. He's got a lot of resiliency. Yeah, but Matt Seidel, to your point, Taz, the most experienced man in this match. He can recognize what danger he's in, how desperately he needs to make a tag. But Dante Martin in no, nowhere in sight for Matt Seidel. Well, that, that pile driver on the outside, man, he really just drove the head of Dante. That was bad. Seidel up to his feet. He may be facing a, a handicap match situation here, a two-on-one situation, because who knows if Dante's, you know, even going to be able to get back into this match. Oh, J.D. Drake, known for those big chops. Yeah, Drake, very heavy-handed. The chop followed up by the senton, and Matt Seidel again reaching for the tag, but the corner is empty. As now, G.D. Drake, oh, just look at this, or excuse me, Anthony Henry just mocking Matt Seidel. That's very innovative. Uh, also can annoy you if you're Matt Seidel, your partner's hurt on the outside, you know, and, uh, and now you, both the work horsemen are going to town on Matt Seidel. Yeah, I mean, it, this, this could be a situation, Taz, where, I mean, you know, we saw... We saw Anthony Henry land that pile driver on Dante Martin. Matt Seidel was inside the ring. He may not even know what, what Dante is trying to fight through right now. Yeah. Well, I know the camera wasn't on it a moment ago. Here's going. Another pile driver. Hold on. Oh! Ooh. Like a twisting pile driver. Get the one right here. Two? No. But a moment ago, while we were covering the in-ring action, the trainers were checking out Dante. Dante would, said he was okay, but he just he's having a hard time getting to his feet. They were checking him out, though. A workhorseman, though. Uh, you know, we're seeing Dante trying to make the climb back up to the corner. But if even if he tags into this match, Tabs, what condition is Dante going to be in? Dante, get him. Yeah, no, I Dante. know. And I think it's more of Dante's neck. That's the problem. He kept grabbing it. I don't think it's his head, and that's what they were looking at. But Seidel is... To your point, I don't, I don't know. Seidel's one, uh, one against two here. Because even if Dante can't get in, what the heck kind of condition will he be in? To your point. Well, Matt Seidel taking out both members of the work horsemen. Dante up on the apron. We're about to 
find out what shape Dante is in. As he, oh, look at that. Dante springs off. And Anthony Henry pushed back into the ring. Dante marked a crossbody across both work horsemen. And now well, Dante, Dante. Now he's cooking now on all cylinders here, buddy. Yeah, laying in some right elbows, puts on the brakes, elevates Anthony Henry out of the ring, launches over J.D. Drake. Swing and a miss. Off the bottom rope, the drop kick takes J.D. Drake down to his knees. Dante is feeling it right now. Oh, Dante, but Drake. Dante, Dante was just getting warmed up. Swing and a miss. And Dante takes flight, takes out Anthony Henry on the outside, shoulder to the midsection of J.D. Drake. Dante hits the rope. Oh, oh what Good a lariat. Job. One, two, no. Strong lariat, had good momentum right there, able to drop the bigger man in J.D. Drake. Excellent by Dante Martin. Yeah, really a testament to the speed of Dante Martin, able to generate so much explosion with that lariat. He had to leave his feet, but nonetheless, he took J.D. Drake down. Yeah, it don't matter. You could drop a guy that's bigger than you if you bring enough foot speed into that clothesline, and we just witnessed it. Oh, they collided, the work horsemen. Work horsemen collide, and oh, Dante finally gets Drake down with the sunset flip. J.D. able to break free, makes the tag out to Anthony Henry. Yeah, I don't think sure Dante, Dante saw Dante, it. Yeah, 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 you're right. Eh? Dante has no idea that the legal man is Henry. Oh, boy. Powerbomb combination by the Work Horseman. No, Dante able to kick out. And the tag made once again. Great rapid-fire tag team offense in and out by the Work Horseman. The cannonball sent on in the corner. Wow, look at Andy Henry. What the hell is he going to do here? Ooh. The foot yeah. stops. Oh, but the Meteora taking out JD. Henry. Look at a massive J.D. Drake. But Matt Seidel rolled Dante yeah. Martin out of the harm's way. The roundhouse kick. And now Dante, the nose dive. One, two, three. The winners of this match, the team of Matt Seidel and Dante Martin. A hell of an outing right there. What a match by all four men. Yeah, a great come from behind victory for Matt Seidel and Dante Martin to cap us off here tonight on Dark. And remember, tomorrow night, the anniversary edition of AEW Dynamite, live from Washington, D.C. Brian Danielson, Daniel Garcia versus Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara. AEW is my house. Tomorrow on TBS. Celebrate the three-year anniversary with an extended Dynamite. Oh featuring God. Darby Allin versus Jay Lethal. Daddy had to put you on timeout, didn't he? MJF returns to the ring to face Wheeler Yuta. You want to know what I think would be real entertaining? And Daniel Garcia joins Brian Danielson to take on teammates Sammy Guevara and Chris Jericho. I'm going to have to take you out. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live tomorrow at 8 on TBS.